Hey guys, welcome to part 25 of Let's Play Mass Effect 2. The climb up Nasana's tower. I'm afraid that your men cannot respond because they're all dead. <laughs> My party basically took care of the ones up there, so we're good. Oh. Detonate. Jesus. That's not good. Explosive container on the catwalk. That container is just explosive. We have um, we have weapons changer. We gotta have our sniper rifle changed. Oh, it's a Viper upgrade? What was the original? Upgrades the Mantis sniper rifle. Sizer Yeah, I, I, I tend to like the um the mantis. It's just a uh, better at damage. Okay. Just weapon loadouts. And yeah. Hello, dead people. Picked out some max right in the face. Okay, that barely did anything. Missing doesn't help either. I wouldn't need that. Pretty dead. Oh, she's still alive. Not anymore.
Okay. I'm just looking around for stuff. We got a new submachine gun. Oh, uh, never mind. More. It's just more damage. PDA with a number 12,000 on it. Yeah, we're going after Thane, Saudi. 12,000 credits. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't see your message right away. Uh oh. Gotta go down. We need to subtract some of these forces. Boom, headshot. Boom. Alright, they're dead. Oh. I'll tear you apart, Shepard. <laughs> hey, you're not supposed to restore your barrier. That's just not cool, man. Okay, that's bad. Give us some high ground to shoot from, though. You guys move around too much. I'm sending in reinforcements. Yeah, you do that. This will break them down. Die. Gotta retreat. All right, guys. Come this way. Where? This will break him down.
How did you survive that? Yeah, you couldn't stop me, girl. Pace. Shepherd, you're dead. I got better, and now you're here to kill me. Interesting idea. You're paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepherd. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. All the credits in the world will make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? You kill people because you think they're beneath you. They're in your way. I kill people because they leave me no choice. You've got a choice. You don't have to do this. I can tell you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Nice entrance. <laughs> I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her, for me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How'd you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious. And it won't affect my work. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. 
I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Recruited Dan Krios for the team, but medically questionable unless mission is resolved quickly. Legal representatives are dealing with public damage to Dantius Towers. Viper sniper rifle, submachine gun damage, credits, element zero, yay! I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. What's the problem, Jacob? Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah. And he may not. <laughs> Shut up, Jacob. Yeah, we basically told him to shut up too. We okay. Um, Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Than is a better person than you. Yes. Let's see what they've got. Ah, pro capacity. You know a soul name? I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. Hey, Jelly. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Uh, don't speak to the. Like using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. Hmm. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emon Kira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life. 
Yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other drow. It's called Kepril Syndrome. Are you gonna be all right till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to 12 months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Then don't live on Kaje, or use breathers. Drill have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt her ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Aww. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. Why Fine. Shall I shall return to my meditations. Fine. Meditate then. Alright. want to talk to Garrus. I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it, and he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. Maybe both. A lot of women like bad boys. A lot of women like you. On occasion. I live a dangerous life. Dangerous men fit right in. I like you more and more each day, Shepard. Anyway, how may I help you? How's the crew? Anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. When are you gonna feed my fish for me, Kelly? I'm, I'm asking the important questions here. Garrus is down here. Okay. Going down. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the collectors right now. All right, let's talk, Garrus. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead because of him. Da, 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 da. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. That's what you want? You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. 
I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. All right. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Okay. Just a second here. All right, guys. So I think we just have one more party member to recruit, and we'll be offered that mission a little bit later in the game. I uh, I forget the exact nature of when. Detecto Anaya, still alive. Greetings, Commander. I'm not completely sure. This will get to you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. The Eclipse Mercs have gotten real quiet around here. And my spirit is backed off too. No idea if the two are related, but hopefully the next time I meet a Justicar, I can give her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe I worked a case with one of them. You're a lucky human. If you find any more data on her tar if I find any more data on her target, I'll pass it along. Thanks, Detective Anaya Ilium Law Enforcement. But yeah, until, until we're given the uh, dossier for the last party member, the only thing left to do are uh, DLCs and loyalty missions. And, yeah, collecting the various upgrades we pick up along the way. Which... I'm going to bring up the panel here quick, and we'll see what we can, uh, submachine gun damage, extra SMG rounds, and we have some armor, biotic damage, let's get that in, biotic duration, we want that, 20% there. And then we have retrained powers and advanced training. Don't need either of those. So. Now I can hold 60 probes. Which will be very important for clearing out these systems of all their resources without having to necessarily extend too far out. Alright, let's go up here. Looks like we have three planets. Mysuth, which looks earthy, but it's actually very cold. I'm shivering just thinking about that negative 160 degrees. Ooh, it's a platinum planet. Launching probe. Probe launched. Yeah, like the first the first time or so I played this, I would look at the upgrade cost, but now I tend to just do the upgrades. Especially because we're not exactly struggling for resources. Bink! Launching probe. And we fall into moderate. Probe away. That'll probably get us down. Yeah. And then. That's many. Yeah, this star isn't very powerful. Ne negative 119, and it's the closest one to this to its sun. Launching probe. 
Searching probe. I think the only resource I'm really worried about. Not platinum and element zero. We find plenty of the other two. Like more than plenty. So I'm thinking about the loyalty missions and um, and doing them in the order of the party members, the order that I met the party members, with Jacob being the exception because we don't really care about Jacob. In fact, I'm tempted by the idea of not securing his loyalty and letting him just die because I really don't like Jacob that much. So we've got resources marked good, but I don't see any spikes. Oh, that would be why we weren't down here. <laughs> yeah, that makes it that just makes it depleted off the bat. Oh, we didn't want to. Nearly the size of Earth, Acania, Acaria contains only 28% of its mass. It has a trace atmosphere of neon and molecular nitrogen, but the predominant carbon dioxide is long frozen and fall into the surface's frost. While Acaria has a core of heavy metals, the bulk of the planet's volume consists of water ice. So yeah, it's it seems like an Earth planet, but it's really not. Somewhere in this vicinity. Oh, we got kind of a little something something there. There we go. Launching probe. Still good, huh? Ah, right about there. Probe away. S still apparently, yeah, that would be why. And we fall to moderate. We're going to go back, because I used 31 probes <laughs> on three planets.
Yay! Go to Lusarn. Okay, there's a lot of planets. Alright, let's hit this gas giant. Ooh. Ooh! Away. That was basically all the re all the resources. And mm, poor. Untana or Untanta. Hit it. Two hundred thousand palladium. It's a lot of palladium. These are mining pretty quick. Alright, that's fine. We'll go to the next planet. Two hundred and four. Okay, that's pretty warm world. I kind of get a chuckle when they say good instead of rich and they take many more probes to whittle down. Probe away. But it is what it is. See, we depleted from rich pretty quick, but this world is good, and we've shot a bunch of probes at it, and we're still... Launching probe. We're still at good. It, it's just it's just a funny thing. Found some Plutium. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, because I was having trouble finding more. I have detected an anomaly. Ooh, anomaly. Terrath is broadly Earth-like with a fatal flaw. It has a relatively amount, high amount of chlorine in its atmosphere. The reason for its greenish haze that becomes apparent when looking at the horizon. Chlorine has become a vital component in Terrath's plant life. As a defense mechanism against native herbivores, many species evolved the ability to release clouds of toxic chlorine when disturbed. This gas is heavier than the atmospheric oxygen and tends to settle in low places. While avoidable, this has placed Terrath near the bottom of the list for colonization. 
They're intermittent with the signals originating in the heart of the large chlorine swamp. They appear to be coded, though it is not impossible that they are garbled distress signals from a downed civilian ship. Launching a probe. Nice. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. It's an element zero planet, which is exciting. Launching probe. I have found something. Blood pack mercenary protocols. Constraints Krogan and Vorch signals are massed in what appears to be a mining operation. Life signs detected unknown species advise caution. We'll go back to scanning. I believe now we found that we can land at any time. Probe away. And it falls to moderate. Right about there. Probe launched. Probe. And we're up poor. Okay. That's an anomaly sighty mission. Ooh, this this planet had a novel about it. Blue Sun's hostile environment training facility. Uncovered by Asari authorities. Lots of good stuff. And it's just got moderate resources. Nobody really cares if any of it is like platinum. Kind of. But really it doesn't look like it's worth our time. Alrighty. Um... Just thinking about the game plan here. Disable blood pack relay. That will be a kind of shortish mission. We'll bundle it in with starting Miranda's loyalty mission, which I think is going to be the next order of business. Um, let's see what I have. Packages for Ish. We have to go to the Citadel for Garrus's loyalty mission. So we have that going for us. Grunt, Rite of Passage, Morden, Old Blood, Jack, Subject Zero. Yeah, we have a lot of. Zeeds, Zaids as well. And we're going to get a few more on the way. Yeah, I'm thinking Miranda. Ugh, Jacob. I mean, his mission's worth experience. We should probably just do it. Um, so we'll do Miranda and then Jacob and then we'll Morden, Garrus, Grunt, Jack. Zayed is actually one of the first Zayed and Kasumi, but technically I would consider that we got them later. But we'll, we'll figure out an order that, that, that feels natural. But for now, I'm going to save and um, quit for the day. I thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you haven't haven't already done so, feel free to follow the button one time. Or sub like and share if you're on YouTube. Take care guys and we'll see you guys again next time. 
Till then, later on, guys.